my darling divas and welcome back to another week here on the No Minus Plus channel and blog of it all. Um, while you guys are watching this, I'm actually away on vacation, which brings me to the topic of today's video. I am doing another Get Pack With Me video. And if you don't know, Get Pack With Me is a series that I started, I think, sometime um, in January or February, um, where I give you guys different tips on how to pack um for vacations and different things now when i first made that video i didn't fully develop the idea and i'm gonna be completely honest with you the idea for this one kind of isn't developed either but i'm doing my best to make the connections fit and hopefully the more videos that i do on this topic and in this series um hopefully i will kind of get more of a clear direction so we're gonna see how this works out and y'all just let me know what y'all think in the comments so basically the purpose is every get packed with me video is a different topic pertaining to traveling and fashion stuff so how to pack what to bring all that good stuff so today's topic for this week's this month's get pack with me video is going to be different tips and tricks on how to build a vacation wardrobe the most important thing when you go away it's not the airline flights it's not airline flights it's not the flights it's not the hotel it's what you're gonna wear girl but also more importantly if you are somebody who's like me who has a lot of stuff in your closet and who is always extra and always wants to bring extra stuff you need to make sure that you like not bring your whole wardrobe and you have to condense all of your clothes into one suitcase so sometimes that can be a little tough so today i'm just going to show you guys the different tips and tricks that i like to do to build my wardrobe for vacation i recorded this video out of order so we're going to see how this comes together y'all just pray that this video comes out right so let's hop on in okay so before i even pull out a shirt a pant or anything everything starts off with a list so if this notebook looks familiar which it probably shouldn't because the last get packed with me video was months ago but in that video um i showed you guys this notebook and i had a packing list so i have yet another packing list every trip that i go on always starts off with the list because i have to write down exactly what i have to bring so um for this particular vacation um this is my packing list right here and basically all I did I just listed what type of clothes I had to bring um, and all of my toiletries accessories pretty much everything that I needed to pack in my suitcase I wrote it down on this list and this list is going to guide me throughout my whole packing process so um, I need multiple outfits I need accessories I need I need electronics so everything goes on this list so what I do is, um, once I jot down what I need, I start to brainstorm the kind of looks that I want to bring. Um, so this, for this trip, I had to bring, for this trip, I'm going on two different trips at the same time during the same week. So for six, for the first six days of the week, from Sunday through Friday, I will be in Orlando, Florida at a conference. And then on Saturday to Sunday, I will be in Miami for Miami Curves Week. So I have to bring all types of different clothing for different things each day requires me to actually have two outfits so this one was definitely a little bit challenging to pack for but nonetheless i got it done but i would have never got it done without a packing list so once i write down everything that i need then i went into building my wardrobe and i will show you that in the next clip but after i pulled everything out i made all of my outfits and everything i created a second list see there's two lists because I have a problem I, I really I seriously have to organize and that's like the biggest tip I can give you when you're packing for a trip is to be organized like you need to make sure that you have everything in place because I hate having to buy something while I'm away because it dips into like my fund and nine times out of ten I already brought it at home to pack which means that I'm buying the same thing twice so when I go home and see said item that I left at home and be even madder because I just spent it already at home. So now I'm paying for it twice when I could have paid for it once. So it's very important to start everything off with a list. So after I made, pull, pulled out all of my outfits, made all of my outfits, I made a second list and this time it's a shopping list. So with a list of things that I needed to go out and purchase to fill in the gaps of those areas with my wardrobe and everything. So I needed, I needed a, a all white outfit, I needed a red outfit. I didn't have those things so I made sure to jot it down on my shopping list so I can target those things when I went out to the mall. I wanted to make sure that I was focused on the shopping trip for vacation because I didn't want to spend any money that was unnecessary because I want to save it for the actual trip to buy souvenirs, eat, drink, you know, do, do stuff. Um, so 
that's my biggest tip a list let's let we're just gonna start there before you even pull out any clothes make a list once you pull out the clothes make another list and then you should definitely be good to go so now that we are done talking about the list of it all let's get into the tips on how to actually build your vacation wardrobe so everything you see on this fashion rack is what's coming with me on my vacation so I'm just gonna briefly just talk about the different steps that I take to create a vacation wardrobe so I have to follow four main like steps um, weather attire type of bulkiness and then trying it on so let me repeat that for you guys weather attire type of bulkiness and uh, trying everything on so let's start off with weather Obviously, you need to know what kind of clothes are you bringing. Are you accommodating to weather that's hot? Are you accommodating to weather that's cold, somewhere in between? So you need to make sure that you're packing the proper garments that are going to associate with weather that you're in. So for example, I'm going to Orlando where it is hot, so I'm going to need summertime clothing. But even though I know Orlando is hot, I still check the weather because you never know what kind of weather you're going to be getting into if you don't check. So I did check the weather and it's actually going to be raining the whole week that I'm there. So thankfully my wardrobe picks were already pretty much still okay. I just have to add an umbrella to my wardrobe, my, to my um, suitcase and that should be just fine. But you never want to assume so please still always check the weather. So as you can see here I have a lot of different things like I have shorts to accommodate to the warmer weather. I have things that are sleeveless to make sure that I keep cool. So because I know the type of weather that I'm to be expecting, it allows me to plan and prop. It allows me to plan and prep pieces that will make sure that I'm comfortable. So the second one is attire. Do you need casual attire? Do you need business? Do you need um, cocktail? Doing the, that, different things like that. Um, knowing what kind of clothes you need, um, <laughs> make sure that you bring the proper attire to your trip. So for example, for this trip, this is a different kind of trip that I'm going on because I need not only casual, but I need business casual since I am attending meetings. So I have to add a mixture of those two and I have to throw in some cocktail pieces because I'm going to a couple of events while I'm out there as well. So this is the first time that I've been on vacation and I had to bring multiple types of attire, but it's okay. It's all good. Um, so I just want to break down a little bit of my wardrobe to show you guys like what stable pieces I'm bringing with me to accommodate to the attire that I need to have while I'm going. So um, I basically have it split up into three different categories of attire. I have casual, business casual, and then like cocktail slash going out. So I don't have a lot of business attire wear, like business casual. Um, so I had to get very creative with what to bring because I didn't want to purchase anything new because it's a type of clothing that I don't require. So it would basically, I would just be buying it for the vacation and probably never wear it again, right? So that's like not necessary. So what I did was, hold up, my ear is falling out. So what I did was I made sure to bring some blazers because blazers are definitely a staple piece for business casual, but I made sure to only bring two. I didn't want to bring a week's worth of blazers because there's no need to do that. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, I also made sure that I brought some different types of tank tops that can go under blazers and can also be tucked into pants and skirts um, so that I can be as comfortable as possible. So I can keep I can keep warm um, with the jackets because usually um, meeting spaces are pumped up with the AC. But it's also sleeveless because I'm still in a hotter climate. So I don't want to like go in there with the turtleneck sweater. But I also don't want to go in there without a jacket. So I made sure that I had some sleeveless tops. And then, um, as far as pants, which was kind of a little bit of a struggle because I don't really have many slacks, but I do have these two pairs of pants that I got in um, my Dia boxes. And what I love about them is that they can be worn to work and they can also be worn on weekends. So these are very versatile um, types of pants to have in your wardrobe. So this is um, a legging type pant, a very thick legging. Um, so it's comfortable, but it's still business worthy. And this is more of a linen pant which is perfect for the summertime, but also great for work. So if you want any more like tips and tricks on building a business casual um, attire, I did do a video on that that I just popped up. So check it out. As far as the pieces that I brought for my casual wardrobe, I already showed you guys the shorts, but I also made sure to bring 
a couple of dresses just a couple of maxi dresses because you already know like summertime maxi dress season is on um basically whatever you would wear on your casual days at home is what you can bring for your vacation unless of course you wanted to spice things up and shake things up and you brought something new but if you're trying to build a wardrobe from what you already have at home just bring whatever you would wear if you went to the beach or if you went to an outing at home same thing so i would definitely and have already worn these pieces like for the most part to keep cool around the house and stuff so of course i'm going to bring with me on vacation because why not And then I also have just some very simple graphic tees because when I think of vacation, I think of laid back and casual, but I still want to be cute. So I just have this cute top that says drinks with others. I got it from Fashion Figure, I think earlier this year, like around my birthday in January, but I never wore it. So I'm going to wear it while I'm away. So those are just some main components of how to build a casual and a business casual wardrobe in general, but also how to build one to go on vacation. So I didn't want to bring all shorts, all dresses, and all things. Like, like I have a variety of different things because first of all, they're easier to pack. It gives you variety for when you're on vacation. And these denim shorts can easily go under one of these maxi skirts if I needed to. So um, the whole wardrobe is interchangeable. Same as the same as the business casual, I have pants that can crisscross and match with other tops and blazers in my attire. So my whole uh, my whole wardrobe is interchangeable. I can, I can mix and match them and create different outfits um, than the ones that I originally planned. So you also want to make sure that you're packing clothes that can be mixed and matched if need be. Moving on to our third point, which was type of bulkiness. Now, I don't want to bring too many items that are very heavy in material because that means they're going to take up more space, meaning that I won't have enough space to bring things back home um, when I go out and if I want to buy souvenirs or something like that. So I have limited the amount of heavier materials. I do have some neoprene stuff that I'm bringing. For example, like this peplum top that has a little bit of a thicker fabric. And then the blazers that I showed you is a little bit thicker. But as you can see from the rack, I don't have a whole lot of um, fabrics that are heavy because I want to make sure that I pack um, lighter items obviously because I'm going somewhere warmer but also I don't want to take up too much space so I just had a couple of different heavier items in there to just fill up some gaps but also I want to make sure that I have some space left over for my souvenirs and then the fourth and final step in creating your vacation wardrobe is going to be to try everything on this is the most important step because I have been guilty of throwing things in a bag and then when I get to vacation I hate everything that I packed and it was simply because I forgot to try it on. You do not have the luxury of going to your closet and swapping out a top or a pant that you don't like when you're on vacation. You have very limited space and very limited time especially if you're in a rush jumping up to go to an amusement park or going to a meeting you got to make sure that you already have the outfit in mind so it's very important that you try on all of your looks before you leave the house i personally try everything on twice because i'm just like that i have to try everything on twice um so i make sure that if i don't like this top or don't like this pant i switch it out and swap it out and make sure that everything is to my liking before i pack it up because once it goes on the plane that's it <laughs> I can't go back and I can't move back and I don't want to buy something while I'm out there to match with something that's already in my wardrobe because that's dipping into my fun for my fun time. So um, that's the four steps. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Um, so yeah, moving on to the next part of this video. Okay, so now that all of my clothes are picked out, what I like to do is I like to just basically lay out each outfit on my bed so I can see what I'm bringing and then I can make my final cut. So do I want to wear this dress? Do I want to wear this top with this pant? I make those executive decisions and I lay everything out to make sure that I can visually see what I'm bringing and organize them. So I have a quick clip on that. So let's just watch that really, really, really quickly. Hey, I'm just uh, showing you guys all of the clothes that I'm taking with me on my trip. Um, just to kind of give you a visual of what I was talking about in the video. So I lay out each outfit on top of each other so that I can count all of the items that I have. I can go in and double check all the outfits to make sure that they have the tops and the bottoms. I can go in and, you know, retry on the outfits and um, swap out something if needed. But yeah, this is really helpful for me to uh, lay it all out so I can get a visual of 
what I am bringing as a whole. Um, so I just want to kind of want to give you a visual. This is kind of also what I did in my other Get Pack With Me video, um, where I laid everything out and then rolled it up. That's pretty much what I'm about to do. So if you want to see how I roll it up, then I will just refer you to that last video. I don't want it to be redundant. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you this visual. So let's get back to so the like That wraps up this installment of the Get Packed With Me series here on No Minus Plus. Please let me know if you guys like this and let me know if you guys want more. I'm not saying that I'm a traveling expert, but I have been traveling a lot more lately. And of course, any time that I can make content, I'll make content. So that's just how we do it over here. So if you like what you see, if you like um, what you hear about the Get Pack With Me series, just let me know down below if you want to see me do more because each one's going to be a different topic on fashion and traveling so it might not be you know building a vacation order the next one might be like what to put in your carry-on what to wear to the airport different things like that so just let me know if you guys want more of these get packed with me series and what kind of fashion related travel topics do you guys want me to talk about um so yes um, if you want to see all of the fun and all of the outfits and everything that I plan in action, I have been posting my outfit of the days every day on my social media. So be sure to follow me over there if you're interested in seeing the actual outfits that I packed. Because I know I didn't really show them all the way. Um, but if you want to see them, I definitely have been taking pictures. So you can go check it out. Um, my social media will be linked down below if you don't already um, follow me on there. And if you're on the blog, it's up top and at the top of the page. So, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Like I said, please be sure to leave your feedback down below if you would like. Um, what else? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, well, um, you should subscribe. We just hit 500 subscribers here on no, on the No Minus Plus page, and I'm so excited because I was trying to hit 500 subscribers by summertime, and uh, girl, it's summer, and I hit it. So, yes. I'm so excited so thank you guys so much for all of your support and thank you guys for sticking around and just being here with me I'm an up-and-coming you know blogger up-and-coming youtuber so it just makes me smile to see that I got 500 people rocking with me that's awesome um so tell a friend and tell a friend and tell another friend about the magic here at no one plus they will not be disappointed so make sure that you are following me on social media and make sure that you're following me here on YouTube and also make sure that you're following the blog so yeah everything just goes hand and hand so thank you guys so much for your support and just for being here like it just means so much to me um so I'm gonna go because I could tell you all day how much I appreciate you um <laughs> I'm gonna go um so if I left out anything I'll be sure to leave it in the blog post down below and by the way for more information on what you've seen in today's video please be sure to visit my blog at www.noonesplus.com the link but this exact video will be down below. Be sure to come back here on Friday for another video. Yes, your girl pre-recorded before she left because I'm a boss, okay? So I'm just really trying to be better with my life. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so be sure to come back Friday for another brand thinking new blog post. You don't want to miss it. So I love you lots of tater tots, and I will see you guys on Friday. Peace.